Hello, beautiful people. Welcome back to my channel, Just Tony. Here you will learn information on personal finances and ways to make your money work for you. And if you like content like this, please press that like button, please subscribe, and please hit that notification bell so that you can get additional information like this whenever I release a video. Every day in the news, we get conflicting information. This is CNN Breaking News. Just like I told you, it's being reported in nine states, there's been a rise in Corona cases. I've told you guys this. I don't know why they're not listening. As usual, Republicans leading the way. The state of Georgia eases restrictions on shelter in place. Way to go, Georgia. When you're constantly bombarded with information, it makes it difficult to figure out what's really going on. And here in America, when it's confusing about what's going on in the economy, we start to hold on to our money. And for good reason. Here's what you need to know. One, Fed Chair Jerome Powell said that interest rates will remain low at least through 2022. And what that means for you is that mortgage rates, car loans, and other loans that are newly taken out are going to be at these new lower rates, at least through that term. And that means that we'll be saving money because we won't be spending as much on those particular payments because the interest rates are lower. That's great news. Also, Fed Chair Jerome Powell said that there will be some contraction in the economy this year, which we all knew that. But in 2021, we can expect to see 5% growth, which is pretty large for our overall economy. Then for 2022, he expects it to grow at 3.5%, which is still above our normal rate of growth for the United States. Number two, unemployment claims each week continue to go down. Last week, it was 1.9 million new claims. This week, it's 1.5 million new claims. And what that means is that people are finding jobs. And also what's happening is companies are calling workers back to work. Now, we know that in the month of May, there were over 2.5 million jobs created, and we're going to continue to see growth in that area. And what that means for the overall economy is we're gradually starting to get back to normal. And when this happens, we're going to see the economy take off. Number three, the stock market. It sometimes goes up. It sometimes goes down because it's fickle. It's based on the information that it's receiving on a day to day basis. So, for instance, if there's a report that comes out that says that there's a significant jump in Corona cases, that creates uncertainty and that causes the market to go down. But on the other hand, when we hear things like the unemployment rate is going down, that makes the stock market go up because it knows that more people working means more money is being spent. Back in 2000, during the dot-com bubble, many people thought the world was coming to an end. The stock market went down at that point. But what happened? It eventually bounced back. Then again, in 2008, during the housing crisis, many people thought that the market was going to crash. It did go down to about 8,000 when you talk about the Dow, but it eventually tripled. So it came back and that's what the market is going to do again. So stay the course and know that the market is going to continue to grow. When you look at the long run outcome of the market, it grows at about 10% on average per year. So keep your money in the market. Number four, know that Republicans are more apt to want to open up the economy so that we can return to a semblance of normalcy. So hopefully people can get back to work and start growing the economy. You don't think I'm right? Governor Kemp, you agree with what I'm saying? And Democrats, on the other hand, want to take it easy, make sure that people are safe before they start opening the economy back up. And I can tell you right now, I know Mayor Keisha Lance Bottoms doesn't agree with what the Republicans think. Some people may think so. What's your reaction, Mayor Bottoms? Told you. Number five, know that the prices of goods are going to go up. This is going to happen, one, because there's a shortage of workers, especially in a lot of plants throughout the United States. Because there's a shortage, that means that there's less 
or there are less products available such as pork, chicken, beef, and products of that nature. So quite naturally, the prices are gonna go up. Also, there's inflation. So even though people are saying that, hey, inflation is low, we're still seeing the rise in prices. And I don't think it's just due to a shortage of products. It's also because of inflation. Inflation makes it so that we have to spend more of our dollars to buy the same products. Here are my recommendations for you. Make sure you stay safe. So if that means you have to wear a mask, gloves, visor, and any of the other things that are out there to make you feel safe, go ahead and do that. But keep in mind, there are those people who don't think those things are necessary. So we also have to respect them as well. So my thoughts are, if a person wants to wear all of the safety gear that's available, please do so. And also, if someone else doesn't want to wear it, respect them and allow them to do their thing. Just make sure you social distance from them. Also, don't become fickled by all of the information that's out there, even though it may be conflicting information that you're receiving from TV, social media, and random guys on YouTube. Wait, I'm a random guy on YouTube. You can trust me, right? So in small towns across America, as well as large cities, know that we've seen this kind of thing before. We're gonna make it through. My advice to you is stay the course. Now, if you like information like this, please hit that like button, please subscribe, and please hit that notification bell so that you can receive additional information like this as new videos are released. Thank you for watching and get the money.